Thanks for joining us. A higher percentage of students in Coon Rapids are leaving high school with diplomas. New data released by the Minnesota Department of Education also shows increases in graduation rates throughout District 11 and the state. CTN's Joe Nelson took a closer look at the numbers and found out who's improving the most and by how much. It's a message you can hear from any principal in the country. We want all of our students to be successful. But not every student who walks down these halls will leave in a cap and gown. In 2012, Coon Rapids High School saw about 79% of its seniors graduate, trailing each of District 11's four other traditional high schools by more than 6%. New numbers released this week show that gap remains, but Coon Rapids High School showed an increase in graduation by 7%. It's a complete effort of, you know, both school, community, parents, and family. District 11 an associate superintendent of high schools, Jeffrey McGonigal, says given its diverse population, Coon Rapids has done well. A combination of free and reduced in mobility, that population is really challenging because uh, they get behind. Um, and Coon Rapids is having a lot of success with those students, and they have more of them that they're working with. So um, even though it looks lower on there, I think it's kind of an exciting number for Coon Rapids, actually. The gap between graduation rates of minority students and their white peers remains, but shrunk by about 8% in the district since 2012. Rates for Hispanic students spiked 21%. We were underserving Hispanic students. And at this time, I could say that we're better serving Hispanic students. Principal Annette Ziegler says it's hard to pinpoint why the school has improved, but getting kids on track early has led to success later. You have to go in strong is to make sure that ninth graders understand that the decisions that they do and the classes that they take um, help them to work towards graduation. We try to create as much as possible an individual plan for them to be successful in their future. Coon Rapids High School had a graduation rate ahead of the state average by 5% and a dropout rate about 3% below the state average. Steve and Karen? Both good numbers. Yep, heading in the right direction. Yeah, thank Thanks, you. Joe. Thanks, Joe.